Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am Dr. Sonalika Gupta, an SR in general surgery. So today I want to take you through a very personal journey of mine, my JR2 year. So this is the second year of general surgery residency in India. I was lucky enough that in my institute we got an opportunity to rotate through all the super specialties, but I am aware that a few institutes don't do that. So this was the year that I got to explore the surgical world beyond general surgery. So it's a year full of learning, challenges, few breakdowns and many breakthroughs. So today I'm sharing it all with you. So if you are a medical student, intern or a junior resident and want to learn more about what goes on during your second year of residency, then let's dive in. And after a very hectic posting neurosurgery, I was posted to District Residency Program or DRP, which is a three month long program in which you are sent to a nearby district hospital. And this was honestly one of the most free times that you can get as a resident. It was the first time I felt like I had breathing space. I caught up on all the sleep debt that I had from first year and partly second year and we got to do a lot of minor procedures at the district hospital which really boosted my confidence and the district hospital surgeons made us do hernia, lap coli, under supervision and I saw a lot of hysterectomies. Also the stark difference between the district hospital and my home hospital was seriously eye-opening. At the district hospital, you are responsible for everything, starting from setting up the OT table to cleaning your instruments after surgery. And there, the sisters usually don't come to assist you for minor procedures. Assistants were usually were the ones from uh, Ayurvedic department who had come for their six month allopathic training. But they were more than enthusiastic and more than eager to get scrubbed in and learn. So that was a great experience. We even went out for a movie one time together after the posting. So your DRP was the time that you really find balance in your life. You catch up on a lot of sleep. You have a lot of stability. But when you are in the habit of working 15 to 16 hours a day along with calls, you by the end of three months start to feel a little bit bored. So yeah, that happened to me by the end of the DRP, I was very bored and I was like, okay, now I'm ready to come back to my home hospital. So my next stop after joining back to the hospital after DRP was the ICU and I genuinely learned so much here, starting from a lot of hands-on experience. So I did a lot of central lines, peripheral lines, uh, did a few intubations under supervision with the anesthetist. I got to learn the basics of ventilator, sedation, the weaning of parameters. So these were the things that I had only read about before, which I learned during this posting. So yeah, I did my thesis work also during this posting. After ICU came surgical oncology posting. This was one of the most intellectually stimulating but emotionally draining postings where I got to see really long and massive surgeries. So talk about whipples, big ovarian masses, pelvic lymph node dissections, segmental pneumonectomies, and a, a surgery for oral cancers. So yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> it was it was like I'm witnessing something so unreal. But uh, Here's the thing that I emotionally struggled during this posting. Cancer is cruel and uh, you know, you would operate on your patients. They would go into remission and you would feel so happy for them. But after a few months or years, they would come back with a recurrence and it broke my heart to break the bad news. So yeah, I realized that your specialty should also match with your emotional bandwidth as well but you know maybe you grow into liking the work eventually but for me it was an overall sad posting and finally i was posted in plastic surgery the branch that i remember with so much fondness our professors were so kind and encouraging 
the surgeries that i assisted in were diverse and beautifully planned so cleft palate cleft lip a lot of reconstruction burns reconstruction a lot of flaps skin crafts facial trauma and let's talk about sutures the way we suture in general surgery versus plastic surgery worlds apart i think my suturing technique definitely got better after my plastic surgery posting and i started to really love the artistry of surgical closure and i found myself loving the reconstructive aspect of plastic surgery seeing a deformity getting repaired a wound closed meticulously with planning and just it was just very satisfying to see patient outcome is generally very good so i really love this branch as well so my experience in ctvs the cardiothoracic and vascular surgery was really limited i only got posted for a few days i got to see uh, aortofemoral bypass which was very cool i uh, couldn't see any heart surgeries fun fact i wanted to be a heart surgeon when i was little but that's not the case anymore can you guess what specialty do i want to do now uh, i think that is it about my gr2 experience it was a full cycle of different surgical flavors some you will like and some you won't but it is the opportunity which matters and to get a taste of each specialty in your general surgery posting was a great experience in all i realized that it's okay to take a break when you need one each surgical specialty teaches you something about the field something about yourself you won't love every rotation and that's totally fine some days you will cry and some days you will feel really invincible but through it all you grow as a surgeon and a person so if you are heading for your gr2 year or currently in it keep showing up keep showing up with interest and journal your experiences because one day you will reminisce these memories and will take you all back like i'm doing today thank you for watching this video if you feel connected to any part of my story let me know in the comments down below i would love to hear your stories as well don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one